get the mind to calm down. It's when the mind is calm that it can see. Otherwise, when it's turbulent, the Buddha compares it to water boiling. If there's something down in the bottom of the water, you can't see it very clearly. You get an idea of what's there. But all the activity on the surface obscures its shape. So when you calm things down, then you can see inside. And you get to see the situation outside a lot better, too. This is what the Buddha always says, when you act and speak and think, try to come from a solid state of mind. It's a lot easier to see what's appropriate. A lot easier to do the right thing. And then from the calm you gain the insight, and the insight brings more, more calm. The two qualities go together. So we work on both. Then John Lee makes the analogy of a person walking. You need a left foot and you need a right foot. If you just hop along on your right foot, you can't go very far. So get the mind calm, as calm as you can, and then look and see what's going on. Look inside to see whatever disturbances there may be. You realize you've got to solve the problem from inside. Because the problem is here, but the potential cure is here as well. That's why the Buddha has us focus our attention here. The mind is the problem, but the mind is also the potential solution. Just realizing there are lots of sides to the mind, lots of facets. Anyone emphasize the clear seeing, the calm sign as much as you can. <laughs>